I have let go and let Instagram. I just put up a post, which won't make any sense to anyone a week from now when you actually see this video, but I just put up a picture of these two colors, just like you see it. I'm leaning towards eggplant. I'm leaning towards the one on the top. I feel like it is a more sampler-y color, if you know where I'm going. Uh, and that is the effect I was looking for on this. I, I didn't want to do it in my favorite colors. I wanted it to do it in colors that look nice. So I avoided purple. But I think that purple works well. It doesn't look like, hey, somebody liked purple and put a whole bunch of it in here, you know? My only, the only time I keep looking back at Merlin is because a lot of these colors I've had to change out because they just, you know, they aren't quite the intensity when you stitch them as they were on the skein or on the bobbin. So I'm thinking the Merlin where it's darker would go better with the theme and might lighten up a little when I stitch with it. But it might be that kind of too royally, unnatural, unwashed out purple that I'm not looking for. I think it's going to be eggplant. I'm almost sure. And I'm, I'm going to decide by this evening because I'm going to stitch on this tonight. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. It's the moment of truth. I put it up on Instagram. I'm leaning towards eggplant. I got two responses. One for Merlin, one for eggplant. I guess that's two against one. So I'm gonna go with eggplant. <sighs> yes, I'm definitely gonna go with eggplant. All right, I'm gonna get working on this. Uh, my video for today is still uh, exporting. It's on hour number four. It's expected to take another hour. Delightful. Then I gotta get that uploaded and published and whatnot. So I will check back in later. Talk to you soon. Well, Yet again, I have been stymied by a color that just doesn't seem to be behaving the way I think it should. That's eggplant. It might as well be black. I mean, this is not the best light, and I can kind of see in other situations the variegation. I mean, I am right up on it kind of thing and all, but you know... There was a lot of hemming and hawing about this thread, and now, I don't know, I can't finish complete sentences. So now, do I go get conquered? And see if maybe that's the better choice? Do the nine in that? Pick out the one if I don't like it? I, I don't. I guess I'll figure something out. At least my video finished exporting so I can get that uploaded sometime in the next two hours. So hopefully that'll get posted tonight. I'm gonna go be a little grumpy now. Talk to you later. All right, the eggplant is growing on me. I can definitely tell that it's not black. It's not blending, you know, to the point that it's silly that I'm using it. In real life, it is different than the uh, the black. It's not as variegated as it looks on the skein, but it could also be just the section I cut off is just doesn't get to the slightly lighter purple that I think is the lightest that's in there. If that makes sense. Um, so that may show up a little more like on the nine and the two, which is fine. Um, let's see, I am uploading 
It has another hour and 15 minutes to go, but I need to figure out my thumbnail and I need to write my description. So I think I'm going to take a break on this for a while. And we'll see what else I can do. Talk to you soon. Bye. Look at you guys. You're so clever. I've already got four people who have quietly whacked. Look at that. I'm so proud. You guys actually watched the end. I didn't give you all enough credit. This is great. Thanks, guys. I will be um, sending you messages to get your addresses and get your postcards off to you. So there's one more out there, one more waiting. Who will it be? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. The video has been up, uh, my Sunday video has been up for like less than 24 hours and I've already got the five responses that I was thinking it was going to take me two weeks to, I, I didn't think anyone was going to notice it at the end there. But this is great. I've contacted everyone, most everybody's contacted me back. Um, if for some reason you think that I didn't contact you or if you're missing the uh, the message let me know I've actually added my Instagram and an email address to my like you know main channel page the about page so if YouTube is being persnickety feel free to contact me through those um, those sites you know I know we always say stop apologizing stop apologizing but I do have to apologize because when I am filling out these postcards, my handwriting is dastardly. It's bad. I have arthritis. I'm left-handed. Nobody ever managed to teach me how to write correctly. And for the majority of my life, I've been working on a keyboard. So, yeah, the writing is questionable. But hopefully you can at least read my friendly little message. Um... That's about it for right now. I'm going to get ready to do some stitching. What am I going to do? I'm going to work on that over there. That is if this little girl lets me. What are you doing, little one? Oh, baby. Have you come to make mischief? <gasps> mischief? What are you doing? Hi, baby. Yeah, I might just play with the cat. But I do have to get some work done tonight. Guys, I don't know how I feel about the date. I know, I know. I'm as annoyed with myself as you are. The six came out weird. That is not a missing stitch. That is just something weird that happened. I think I need to go over that one. That was weird. I think that may have been where I had a pin stitch. Ugh. Guys. I don't know. I do know. I do know. What has happened every single time I've gone crazy over a piece? When I finished it and propped it up at a reasonable distance, it looks fine. It's gonna look fine. Right now... I just, ah, uh, it looks all, I gotta move it around some. It looks all grunky or something. I, oh, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe it's too primitive. Is that possible? Is that a thing? Maybe if I get really, really close. No, that's just gonna make everybody seasick. I think I need to be done with this tonight, for tonight, not like finishing it tonight. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to stop annoying myself and other people with this thing, and I'm just going to stitch it. And if you hear me whining about anything else, tell me in the comments that I'm whining and I need to shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I'll cry. <sighs> It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Fine. 
Emily just uploaded a new video. I'm going to go watch that. I'm going to drink my coffee. Um, I've already written out a postcard. I've already got somebody's address. It's all very exciting. Um, so yeah, it's going to be okay. I'm going to stay off of Twitter. Nothing good will come from going on Twitter. It's going to be okay. I am happy to see that I can see the purple more. So, you know, there's that. We have that to be happy about. What's going on on the edge of the one? Oh my God, stop looking. Stop looking. All right, go on a drink coffee. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, the bee is done. I mean, the whole pattern isn't done, but the bee is done. I'm not picking out the bee again. People. People, the bee. All right, the wings. The wings were wrong. They were wrong over here. I picked that back. I picked that back. I redid it. I'm sitting there staring at it. Why don't they match? Why don't they match? Andrew, why don't they match? Because then I was wrong on this one, too. I had to pick that back and do it again. And uh, This has not been my best night of stitching. I mean, I've gotten a lot done. I don't think I enjoyed as much of it as I should have. And then I started stitching with the white. And you know what happens when you start stitching with white. No. No. So... I think I'm good for the night. Tomorrow night is Tuesday. Chances are I will not stitch when I get home. But who knows? Um, I should stitch... I should do lots of things. Right now, I think I'm going to go listen to the scanner. I think I can get into less trouble that way. Talk to you later. I apologize if this grosses anyone out because cat food is just straight up nasty. But does anyone have cats that seem to have trouble with, like, the pate kind of cat foods? Ever since we bought some, she has just been, no, you're not leaving. No, you're not leaving. Eat the rest of that. Come on, eat some more of that. Okay, hold on. And we're back. I keep having to put treats in the food. It's almost like it's too soft. And she needs something to bite on. I don't know. Because, sorry if anybody gets woozy, this monster over here that will eat anything, I mean, he seems to be having trouble with it too. Certainly not for lack of enthusiasm, if you can hear him. I feel like it's harder for them to eat. Opinions, ideas, thoughts. Dante, eat the rest of that. You're too little. Eat the rest of that. Eat half. It is 5.30 in the morning on a Tuesday. I am not equipped for this. I was going to go down to the basement and help my father with his laundry. He's 87 years old. Nope, there's a spider over there. Not going down. He says there's a problem with the dryer. I said go down and help him. Nope. No. No, I can I can coach from up here. So much nope. I have a package and three very special postcards ready to go out tomorrow. Um, 
If you watched to the very end of my last video, you'll know that there was a little contest. I thought it was going to last a lot longer than it did, but I offered the first five people to use the word whack in their comment. Uh, I offered them a Lizzie Borden postcard. So I've got three of the addresses so far. Two I'm still waiting on, but I'm not worried. They'll come around. And, uh, and I have a little something heading out across the pond to the beautiful UK. Um, have to remember how to fill out a customs form, I think. But I'll manage that at the post office tomorrow. <sighs> right now, I think it's too late to start that. So I think I'm going to go get the bee project and go get comfy and watch some floss tube and do some stitching and that'll be my night. I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh my god. Two of the best things ever. First best thing. I get shouted out by Michelle. Bendy Stitchy. How cool is that? She knows my name. That's amazing. Love her videos so much. The second awesome thing is the border matched up. <sighs> now I just have to make one more little bee here. And I can make this into a thing. This is very exciting. This moved fast. Faster than I thought it was going to. Would have even been faster if I had, you know, not screwed up 37 times. That's okay. That's behind us now. We're going to we're going to let it go. So I think I'm going to finish watching Michelle and then I am going to clean up. It's 11. It's too early to go to bed. Eh, I'll get into some sort of trouble. Talk to you later. Well, the bad news is, is that I left work at one o'clock, drove loudly over to my own post office, only for me to walk through the door and have her say, we are closing right now. So I have to go back in the morning. But the good news is, is that as I walked in the door, another person sent me their address. So now four of the postcards are ready to go. I am of a mind that I might just put regular stamps on them, but where I have to go, eh, I have to go to the post office anyway. So I will put postage, uh, I'll put postcard postage on them there, mail them tomorrow morning. Package will get out to the UK tomorrow. I got the customs form after much fall to roll about whether I needed a customs form. I got a customs form because that's what I did. All right, generally, this is when I go to take a nap. But I would like to finish the bee pat project now. And then tonight, maybe put it together into a needle book. I might be able to do that. I mean, I should be able to do that. I only have a tiny little bit of stitching left to do. Then I have to get up the courage to cut it and then sew it all together. I can do it. I know I can do it. Somebody must have faith in me. I know. That's going on over there. Yeah. Let's go do some stitching. So I remember a few hours ago when I said that I'm not going to nap, I'm going to work on this. I went and napped. Sorry. But I did finish it. Got my little last B in place. And it's ready to become a needle book. So I have to cut it. I have to cut like I, I like a rectangle. No, I need to cut a rectangle this way. So that it folds under. And then I need something to back it. And then I have felt. And yeah, this could be my night. Because things make sense in my head. It's when I try to get them out to my hands that, no, nothing seems to work correctly. So I will check back in. If you just hear weeping, you'll know it's me. I'm getting ready to sew a thing. 
I've been sitting here for five minutes just staring at the needle, thinking and rethinking and making sure that the thing is in the right place and the hole. And then I'm like, this is linen. I can't just sew on linen, can I? I mean, I need to have some sort of degree, don't I? I don't know. So my plan is to sew down either side and then turn it right side out. I need to poke out the corners in a way that's gonna make Vana proud. And then I will cut off the end wherever it doesn't match up because my ends will never match up. And then fold it in half and then put the little felt, um, sew these little guys together, trim them off even. And I think I either have to hand sew them into here or I have to just admit that there's going to be stitching on the outside and I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Let's get this step done first. Yeah, let's get this step done first. Okay, bye. So part of me says, if I hand stitch that edge, I'm gonna have a lot more control. And then another part of me says, you bought a sewing machine. Sew that thing on a sewing machine. And then there's this other part that says, you don't know what you're doing. Just stop. We're going to get her some wine and tell her to go sit in the corner for a while and get this thing finished. But you know what? I mean, look at this. It's starting to look book-like in nature. Um... I changed my mind a little about how I want to do the pages rather than those folded over ones. They were too bulky. So I figure two pages like that will do. Why isn't this lining up now? Uh, um, but now I'm trying to decide, do I want to sandwich this and stitch down here to catch the pages? Or do I want to open it and stitch down this way to keep the pages in? And then you kind of don't see it. Like, you'll see the stitching on the back, but not on the side. I don't know. i got to think about it. I think i got to redo that edge because it's going to come out. Maybe it's okay if it comes out more than the front. No, it's not okay. We want this to work. All right, I'm going to re-roll that edge, and then we'll see what I do. It'll be as big a surprise to me as it will be to you. Bye. I hand sewed it. Are you kidding me? Who am I? Who am I right now? It's acceptable. I mean, it's, you know, it's ha it has its moments. It has its places, but, well, by golly, it's closed up. Now I just need to think about how to get the pages in there. I was, I had like this much left open when I remembered to put some salt in there to keep my needles, you know, keep the frog away, keep my needles doing the things that I want them to do. Yeah, that wasn't difficult. You ever try to get salt in like a weeny little, no, don't even, it's like trying to put salt back in the shaker without taking the lid off. Whatever. All right, I gotta figure out the pages, and then I will have a FFO to show you. When has that ever happened? Never. I'll tell you right now. Never. That has never happened. All right, I'll be back. Oh my god, you guys, look what I did! I made a little book! It's not perfect, but it's a little book, and I made it! I sewed it with things! I used the sewing machine, which is good, because it paid for it. Look what I did! Oh my god! This was like some work. This was more work than I thought it was going to be. And yet, I did it. I did it without crying or hurting anybody. Who'd have thought? I haven't decided if I want to add like a little ribbon or something to hold it shut, but I don't know. 
found out if you match your thread to your fabric, don't really have to worry about it showing on the back. Don't, don't pay any attention to what happened there. Don't you worry about that. Um, look at the thing I did. Go me. Now I have room in my life for a new project. I think it might be time to start a primitive needle. Ooh, I need to go think about some fabric. Bye. So I'm sitting here and I'm getting ready to go to the post office and I had this postcard in front of me. And I looked at her brooch and I noticed that the white space looks like Mickey Mouse ears. And now I can't unsee that. I can't ever unsee that. Now neither can you. You're welcome. I finished the nine. I did it. The numbers are starting to grow on me again. Why, why am I acting surprised? Why? This is what I do. I freak out over things. I get all worked up. And they're fine. In the end, they're fine. But, you know, while I was stitching this, I was thinking maybe what I don't like are those hard edges on the numbers. So maybe they would be softened up with a few vines. Or maybe even, and sit down if you're not, Maybe a colonial knot or two? Like just in those little places where the edge seems or where the corner seems a little harsh? That's a thought. But that's something I'm going to think about when the whole thing is done. And I will see if it actually needs it. But otherwise, this is perking along. It is just about 12.30 on Saturday. So I have some more time to keep going. So I'm going to see if I can't finish the last number. Get that done before I go out tonight. All right, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to finish the two today. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I have to get some of this video edited before I go out tonight. So this should probably be the last one that I record today. Going over Brian's to hang out tonight. And then I will upload tomorrow. So I'm going to go work on that. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.